the dope at the crib. Yeah. I keep the racks like a real. Yeah. I'ma go pop me a pill. Like a screw, I'ma give her the drill. Yeah, yeah. she said she love my drill. If she bad, then I'm paying them bills. I put a cat on my lip. She give me chin like a beard. Boom, the fuck show up, verse, and I'm coming with that line, cause I'm thuggin' for real. What's up, Sun Nation? It's your boy Super Jam, and I'm back with another video. Now, this is a video that I've been waiting for, bro. I'm about to take Voodoo, you heard me, to Texas, back to top performance, because if y'all know and y'all been watching my videos, my boy is not running right. During the cold, it took 20 times to start. I can't, I can't get in it and stomp it like I want, because it seemed like when I stomp it, it jakes and like it, it hesitates like you know what i'm saying like either the tune fucked up or like the um the fuel system fucked up so um y'all know i've been riding without a hood mike let me borrow this hood shout out uh mad hawk um as you can see it's nasty out here it's been raining and shit so i'm glad that mike let me use this hood but um i got a car wash following me down here to uh top performance so let's let's see if he been starting on the first time so we're gonna see exactly like i said like when it's kind of warmer he started on the first time so it don't be no issue and stuff like that you hear me oh fuck i need a oil change I probably had him do it up there, type shit. But yeah, um, I ain't gonna speak on tap right now because they gotta make this right. So if they make it right, I have nothing to say. But if they don't, which I'm gonna have something to say regardless because I'm gonna speak on it, but if they fix it, I'm gonna I'm get them their props and shit like that. But for any reason that they don't fix it, it's definitely gonna be an issue and you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go from there. So I feel like skiing up today. Cause you never know what type of time I'm on. You stupid. Nah, I'm just fucking around. I don't know why I put this ski mask on. <laughs> but yeah, so we about to go um, meet Car Wash at the gas station. He gonna follow us down there and that's my ride back. So yeah, I'll turn you guys back on once I get to the gas station. No, I went 6-0. I beat everybody out there. Oh, no shit? Oh, you going to be free. Yeah. You hear me? So you can see, we up at the gas station right now. Car wash in the bucket. Watch them out, watch them out. Yeah, man. It, it's better, it's better than, than that piece of junk. Big Lord. Hey man, don't be disrespecting my bitch. It's better than Big Lord, that piece of junk. Hey, I told y'all I found another grandpa. Yeah. Man, did, I was, did you buy it? Nah, by the time I got there, by the time I got the nipples, dude, that'd be sold. He sold it? Yep. He posted it, he literally, when he, when he posted it, yeah. I was almost a little rock. I'm like, dude, I'm coming from Fort Smith. He said, man, I can't guarantee it's gonna be there. Bro, that bitch is gone. Yo. I got the Forest City. You actually was in Jonesboro. By the time I got the Forest City, it was gone. Yeah. yeah, I gassed up last night. Alright. But well, yeah, man, so just a quick rundown. If y'all don't know what's going on with Voodoo, like if you new to the channel, first and foremost, I just want to say I appreciate y'all for being part of Sleep Nation. You're able we're a family over here. But um, basically what's going on is uh, my car was fully stocked when I bought it. And I bought it, uh, I mean, I brought it down to top performance for like upper lower pulley, um, pan crank, uh, 1200cc injectors, inner chiller stage two kit, and um, yeah, you know, make around should be making like 900, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere around 900 wheel for sure. Well, <laughs> I went, took it down to my, my local shop, Mr. Larry's, and it only made 
750. So something definitely was going, was going on. But then we noticed that it was um, having an issue when I roll into the when I roll into the throttle, it spit and sputter like it didn't want to go. So I was like, damn. Usually that got something to do with the with the fuel and like it's not getting enough fuel, like the air ratio. You know what I'm saying? So then um, I was like, it could be the tune. So I, I did some some data log and I sent it back to um, Tap. Tap was like, something is definitely going on. So bring it to us. So I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for somebody to. So I go drop this car off and somebody to follow me. Finally, car wash um, said, found, I mean, he found the date to follow me and shit like that. So um, that's where we about to go. And I'm just gonna drop my car off and hopefully they can fix it in a couple of days and call me so I can go pick my car up again. But um, yeah, man, that's just what it is right now. So another thing is I do got plans to go back Slim Body. The reason being, Right here, I got fucked over by a shop that Audio Cat had recommended. You know what I'm saying? They fucked all this up. Like, I'm talking about, like they didn't clean this shit at all. Overspray and all type of shit. Um, they had cracked this, this flare and tried to paint the whole, the whole uh, fender and put it back on, but you can't really see, but it's really a different color. These two, like the dough and the fender is two different colors. Um, everything else is good. But on this side, this recently happened. I don't know if you see this space. Like, it's a space, but over here, you can really see it. Right here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm just gonna take this wide body shit off. Because it, it's really fucking up. Like, it's, it's just fucking up. You know what I'm saying? So, if you got a wide body, like a wide body kit, my best advice to you, cut your fenders. You hear me? I tell everybody that. If you gonna wide body your, your slim body, cut your fenders. You gonna get the best result if you cut your fenders. If you don't cut your fenders, you gonna be dealing with shit like this. It's going, it's, it's straight. But when you go up an incline, and like your, like your wheel get to cocking up and shit, it, what it's gonna do is, it's gonna rub underneath here, and then um, it's, gonna, it's gonna like push it up, it's gonna like knock it up, and then, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna shift it. Shit's stupid, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie. It's definitely stupid, so, my advice to you, if you gonna wild by the slim body, cut your fenders. Hey, what's up? Sleep Nation, so we made it. As you can see, all these Mopars out here. SRT Durangos and shit. Damn, them bitches was dead when I was here. It's 300. But a uh, cat. SRT thing ain't too. You hear me? So we here at Tap Performance. They told me that they was moving. So that's Tap Truck. That's Jerry Magnum. So we about to see what the fuck going on. Because they said they moving shops and shit, so... We gonna have to see what's down, but we out here. I know I ain't drive all the way down here. Nothing. We at the new shop, be there in a few minutes. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're- Okay, answer the phone then. Just left uh, Tap Performance. I, I was gonna try to uh, vlog and shit, but they had a U-Haul, they moving. And they moving shops and shit, but I talked to them for a little bit, and I'm, I don't know, bro. I'm really not convinced, bro. Like, I don't know. I was trying to ask questions, and I don't know. It's because they was moving and shit that they wasn't really saying shit. But I don't know, bro. If, I, if you got, if you, I'm a customer. If I own a shop and a customer come in and want to know about his car, I don't give a damn what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my time, bro. You just drove four, 
four and a half hours down here. I'm going to tell you what I think or something. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, bro. Everybody different. So, um, I try to get that footage for you guys, but I apologize. I, I didn't get it. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to see what they do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tap in with another shop. I'm going I'm to release that soon. Oh, yeah, you know this handicapped ass nigga pulling up reserve. Mr. Handicap. Don't hate me. <laughs> VIP. VIP. But yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys know and shit. But um, we put up to Bucky's. Look, fresh. Let me see the handy. Let me no. Let me see a VIP sticker. It's not. The, uh, the, don't the, hate, nigga. That's the VIP front and center, huh? That nigga right there need one broke on my nigga. What you said? Yeah, everybody. Uh, uh, we in Bucky's, Jeremy. So we about to go in this bitch and get something to eat. And uh. You know, it's gonna be my second time in Bucky's. But yeah, and I'll turn you guys back on a little bit once and uh, talk to y'all about what I was gonna talk to y'all about. All right, so you see where the fuck we at, Jeremy? Nah, bro, I'm gonna stop cussing, bro. No cap. But we in Bucky's right now. Hold up. I really need something to eat, bro. So I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give me something to eat. I just don't know what I want. Full pork? Nope. Brisket? Nope. Uh... Okay. Mm. Okay, this is pretty good right here, bro. Good shit, you talk. Let's see. The railing against us, the turds and the flakes. I want a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich or ham, turkey, bacon, cheddar, mayonnaise, tomato. I'll probably get one of them though, to be honest. Oh, you talking about this right here? Yeah, yeah. that's it, you look at it. It look, it look flaky. It, it's like a, uh, I say it's like a croissant, but with I would say like a croissant with ice. Yeah, 100%. Let me tell you what, let me have a beaver tail and one pecan bar. Yeah, for sure. You want a pecan Yeah. You like nuts in your mouth? <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it. No, I don't like nuts in my mouth. I'm just saying. I like nuts on no, the no, no. Yeah. Why, you, why, you, no, why you being like that though? Because that's where you going with this no, shit. I, no, I'm, I'm just asking you. <laughs> nah. I'm no. just saying. No, I don't like nuts in my mouth. I like pecans. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't a pecan a nut? No. Nah. This is gonna be a nut. <laughs> <laughs> what this shit is? Look dry. Oh, that's why. Yup. You like the sample any of the jerkies? Man. I ain't gonna lie, brother. Like, it's a lot of shit to take in. Like, bro, it's like, it's like, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a, like a convenient, it's like a gas station, but food, bro, it's, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Hey, can you, can you warm me up a beaver tail too? Yeah. Um, but yeah, bro, it's a lot, bro. Beef jerky, I'm talking about all type of foods and stuff, sausages. Uh, and then like, it's a whole area like over here where like you shop. Like they got their own clothing line and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the merch, bro, literally got their own clo <laughs> clothing line. Like everybody be buying this, this Bucky's merch. Like, bro. This is what I see most of. A lot of people in, be in these like these pajama uh, boxer type shorts, which is the Bucky's logo. But bro, I'm talking about license, license plates, beach towels, balls and shit, uh, Bucky cars, Bucky cups. Bro, come on, bro. It's Bucky's, bro, everywhere. Literally every fucking well. Event banners. Like what the fuck? And it's stretched so far. I ain't gonna lie. I, I see why people love this motherfucker. No cap. It's, it's like so much to do. You know what I'm saying? And so much shit in one spot. Belief when I said I was right when I walk on the stove, bitch, I gotta cash out. Prepare to be matching my mouth when I moved out, chaffing into a big house. Brother, them running the rocks. I remember that day with our friend of that out. Told him keep grinding, stay focused, and gotta be humble, but long as it counts. My, 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 my,
Well, what's up, Sleep Nation? It's your boy Sleep Boy, you hear me? So this is the same video. This just uh, probably like two days later. Um, so I wanted to kind of go over just a full wrap up for the people and catch the people up that don't know what's going on with Voodoo, why I brought him to Texas, blah, 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 and all that shit. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet, or try to. Um, so I brought my car to Tap Performance, I believe like back in, I don't even know, bro, cause it had to be like maybe July, August, September, between July and September. Um, my car was fully stocked, ran perfectly, nothing, nothing wrong. Hold on, let me. Hold on now, but nothing was wrong with uh Voodoo at all, and I took it there. They finished it, got it back, everything running good. Um. For the people who don't know, I got, damn, I don't remember every, every, everything, but I know I got 1200 CC injectors, um, upper and lower pulley. I think I got two, two per and 7.5 with a 10% lower. Um, inner chiller kit. Stage two. Um, pan crank. And probably some other shit. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up here. But, so I got that. They said I should make around 900 wheel. I'm like, I only wanted like 800 wheel, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, got it back. Everything running fine or whatever. And... After a couple of weeks, I noticed that it started kind of like um, kind of sluggish. So when I, I went to the track, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to do some uh, test and tune. And I, I did like five races. And if on the first race, I noticed something was, something was wrong. So when I, when I hit, <clears throat> it hit, it pulled to like maybe third and then it took a nose dive and then took a nose dive for about two three seconds then it jumped back up and it you know what i'm saying so i'm like bro something definitely not wrong what bro something definitely not wrong <clears throat> so I contacted TAP. Uh, <clears throat> they told me to do some some logging, so I had to go buy this um, HP tuner thing. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, I got the bread to you know what I'm saying. I was able to go get it and shit like that. So that was another fucking five six hundred dollars or seven hundred something like that. Had to buy that with credits and shit. Do some logging. And the logging, that shit suck, bro. You literally, like, plug the computer up, press record, drive, stop it, save it, press record, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to do a couple. You want to do some regular driving so they can see what it's doing. Then you want to do some pulls, see what it's doing. Then you want to, like, not do pulls, but, like, drive kind of, like, you know what I'm saying? Faster than regular cruising. So I did that and um shit, bro, they got them. They sent me another tune. I flashed that tune. They wanted me to do some more logging. Bro, I said, bro, look, this 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 too much, bro. They was like, well, you can bring the car down, blah, 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 blah. They act like I stay like an hour up the street. Bro, I literally stay five hours away. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be, hold up, my bad. I'm, Zooming in I can't be driving Five hours Like that You know what I'm saying I drove five Then I picked my car up Drove five back Um I'm on E So Oh yeah I got a flex fuel kit also Um But I only been running E So Before I took it back Well no no I'm still I'm still on the On the, on the uh, It's driving like shit So after that bro It's like after that day I was no longer, I could not like 
stomp the gas. Anytime, like, see, I'm driving normal, it drive fine, you hear me? But as soon as I, like, punch it, it... Like it didn't want to go, like like it wasn't getting it wasn't getting enough air and gas, or you know what I'm saying fuel ratio. I don't know what what was going on. Me, I think it's a tune. I don't think they did nothing to harm my car. I think they did everything right, hooked everything up right. I just think they don't know how to tune the way that it should be. You know, so maybe they do, but my shit is prime example. I'm not talking bad on them. I'm just speak, speaking facts. So, um, I know E, sometimes when it's cold, it's hard to start. My shit took 20 times to start. I had to, that bitch did that for 20 times, popping and shit, which I ain't like that, you know what I mean? But I wasn't tripping. My thing is, I want my car fixed right. So, they wanted me, you know what I'm saying, bring my car back down. So, I'm like, all right, bet. So I finally, you know, it was five hours, so I had to find time. So I brought my car back down. As soon as I get there, as you can see in the video, well, I ain't get to show in the video, they was closed when I got there. And they closed because they said that they doing, that they moving shops. And I said, okay, when when you think my car be done? He was like, a couple months. A couple months, bro. It's at least by summer or something like bro i was trying to bro it got so many meats it got wham coming up um texas 2k just passed um it got um whip fest coming up like i want to be in my shit i want to be in my car and it's y'all fuck up and i'm really pissed off because like y'all should like i don't want to have to keep coming back and forth and doing this shit over and over, you hear me? I don't wanna have to keep, you know what I'm saying? Bringing my car down there. I'm telling you, after this time, bro, I'm taking my car somewhere else, for sure. Um, nothing against tapping them, but I would not be bringing my car back to them. I just don't like, one, I, I don't like how they, how they, I don't know, bro, I just, I just don't like how they, how they play this situation. You know what I'm saying? I understand you moving shops and shit, but nigga, you fucked my car up, so I should be high on the list. I should be, you know what I'm saying? Like my shit was perfect. I don't stay in town. I stay five hours away. So I should be, let me see if I can set this hoe up. That's the best I could do. But so I, I don't want to keep setting it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to keep having to bring my shit back. You know what I'm saying? Damn, this bitch going off like a motherfucker. I don't want to keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep bringing my shit back. And you know, like I said, nothing against tap or no shit like that. But I just don't see me bringing my car back there. You know, my my shit shouldn't have left the shop until it was right. I don't give a damn if you got to keep it for a little longer. Drive it. Drive my shit until it's right, bro. Like no, like fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Um. So. I just, I don't know. I just, I just didn't fuck with it. Um, if anybody got a shop that they can recommend me to do my car, let me know. Who I plan to let tune my car is ZH Tunes. I heard he's like, if not the best Mopar tuner, he's down there in the top two, and he's probably not two. You know what I'm saying? Definitely top three. Um, I just seen his numbers at Texas 2K. Numbers amazing. I think he's leading the he's leading the um he's leading the the Texas 2K list right now. He was number one. I think Bailey's number two. So Bailey's was kind of who I'm thinking about going with. You know what I'm saying? But that's who I was gonna go with at first until I I wrote the page and they kind of caught the attitude. I didn't like the way they did the, you know what I'm saying? They handled that type shit, but maybe I was thinking it's personal, but I don't know, bro. Cu customer service is everything. Like, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? But Bailey's is who I'm thinking about because I talked to Demonology. He told me to go to Bailey's. Um, Bailey's got a lot of hard machines coming out of there, so I might go with Bailey's, you know what I'm saying? But Real to Real just went there and he took his car from there. I don't know why. I don't know what's all the information, but he took his car from them because he didn't like the way they was doing something. So, 
Um, I don't know. I might give Bailey a try, though. You know, um, me and Demonaji created a good uh, friendship, and he told me to go there. He said they're good. I seen some of the work that they that they uh, did, so I might go to Bailey's. But I'm waiting on Tap to see if they can redeem themselves and fix my shit. Like I say, this is not to bad mouth them or talk bad on them or no shit like that. This is just keeping the trill, you know. And the thing I like about Bailey's is like if they if they about to do something to your car, they'll pay half of your tow bill. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's dope. That's that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. I'm just focused on top right now. Hopefully they fix my shit. Um, I definitely won't be back to them. Um, would I recommend them? No. Keep a G. Um, I just don't like my experience. Um, I appreciate them for everything they did. I appreciate them for doing everything in my car and shit like that. But um, yeah, bro, I just, I just wish that they was, um, they, I, I just wish that they was, uh, you know, more like, I don't know, more, seem more involved with the customer, bro. It's like, like, Jerry cool. Tab just seemed like he's so, like, don't give a fuck to talk to you. Really don't give a fuck to explain that. Because when I got there and I, and I asked about my car, he was like, oh, man, I, I don't, I forgot what's going on. Like, I understand you probably deal with a lot of cars and shit, but, bro, you know your fuck ups. You hear I me? Mean? This is your fuck up. How the fuck you don't remember your fuck up? You do this a lot or something? So, I don't know, bro. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I like Jerry for sure. Tap, I don't know. I haven't really, I don't know. He haven't really showed me nothing yet, you know? But, shout out, they shop. I hope them, I hope they, you know what I'm saying? Do great, great stuff, but. I'm straight. I'm straight. You hear me? But um, that's pretty much the wrap up, you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be out through Texas. Um, I still got Draco. Um, Bree been out to sing. She been doing some personal stuff. Um, she ain't really been in the car shit. I don't know if she gonna be back on the car shit. Um, if if so, you'll see her. If, if you don't see her, that means she kind of ain't on the car shit no more. And we just gonna keep, we still gonna keep grinding. I still got Draco. I'm gonna keep modding them. Um, and yeah, bro, we just gonna keep pushing. And, and if I ain't got Voodoo, I'm, I'm being Draco. So, you know what I'm saying? But uh hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions or if you got any shops or anything you wanna, you know what I'm saying, that you wanna, recommend me let me know um yeah you know what i'm saying it's definitely been a roller coaster and i just want my shit to run right that's it but thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much if you're new to the channel thanks for being part of sleep nation we're a family over here and yeah we just started trying to push and push and push um and continue like you know what i'm saying going up uh yeah so Y'all already know what's that, I'm Sleep Nation forever. Do not sleep on us. I'm gang.